Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Alemaya, for those uh, initial remarks. Honorable Minister uh, Sri Suresh Prabhu, Minister for Commerce and Industry, and uh, Dr. Harsh Vardhan, Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Science, Technology and Earth Scientists, Sciences, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues. On behalf of IFC, it is my distinct honor to welcome you to this fourth annual IFC Climate Business Forum here in Delhi. The forum today would not have been possible without the generous support from our sponsors, and many of you are already here in the audience, Australian Aid, European Union, Hero Energy Futures, Hero Future Energies, Azure Power, and Team Sweden. We are very grateful for your generosity. The forum today is taking place only days after the world community gathered in Bonn at COP23 to take stock of the progress since the landmark Paris Agreement and to discuss follow-on actions that are getting closer to making historical climate targets a reality. On the negotiation side during COP23, the governments did set in motion the first stock-taking exercise to assess global progress towards meeting long-term climate goals, with many countries recommitting to what they already said they will do uh, in Paris a couple of years ago. Outside the negotiation, where many of us participated, the feeling was very optimistic, and it was solution-focused, with the private sector uh, being on a front foot and signaling its ever-growing importance in moving the world towards a uh, low-carbon growth path. Ladies and gentlemen, climate change presents us perhaps with one of the biggest challenges of our times. We feel its impact every day. 2016 was actually the hottest year on record since, uh, since we started measuring it, and global temperatures have risen 1.2 degrees uh, above the pre-industrial levels. In recent years, we have seen growing certainty and evidence of climate change impacts, with supply chains being disrupted, with commodity markets seeing increased volatility, and with communities being severely impacted globally. Indeed, the effects of changing climate are felt acutely in South Asia, as Alemayo uh, pointed out in his welcoming remarks. Now, while the changing climate presents threats for the region, it also offers multiple opportunities. As we work to address climate change, we should remember that the lion's share of economic growth, infrastructure needs, and related carbon pollution will take place in rapidly growing economies in emerging markets. As emerging markets develop, opportunities abound. Estimates point out that half of the urban centers in this country that, exist, uh, that will exist in India alone in 2030 are yet to be built, and that offers a tremendous opportunity. With the right investment climate, the private sector can ensure that this growth is sustainable and resilient while creating jobs, improving li livelihoods, and of course, offering returns on investments. This is a major opportunity. Last year, we at IFC studied the commitments made by 21 emerging markets globally, and we found that there is 23 trillion of investment opportunities waiting to be taken. Our findings show that South Asia alone has ambitious plans to meet its climate commitments under the Paris Agreement, and that represents $3.4 billion of investment opportunity by 2030. Untapped opportunities include sectors such as renewable energy, transport, green buildings, urban water, climate smart agriculture, and municipal solid waste. There are 3.1 trillion of climate investment opportunities in India alone, along with 172 billion in Bangladesh, 42 billion in Bhutan, 2 billion in the Maldives, 46 billion in Nepal, and 18 billion in Sri Lanka. Those are indeed large numbers. Scaling and replicating such progress in South Asia will require catalyzing private finance and creating markets for climate business solutions through policies, through financial innovations and business model targeted at specific local conditions. 
We have gathered here today to discuss and understand what actions need to be taken to take these opportunities to full scale. IFC is committed and well positioned to working together with companies and governments across South Asia, leveraging the strength of the entire World Bank Group to create markets for climate business. We recognize that each and every risk posed by climate change also presents an opportunity. We are prepared to help South Asia to create markets for climate business and to mobilize private sector investments. I therefore welcome you to the fourth annual IFC Climate Business Forum 2017 once again, and I wish us all a fruitful discussion over the coming days. I now have the distinct honor welcoming to the stage Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Sri Suresh Prabhu. Thank you.